You know I've been doing this for the Times change. No, time what you did back then with a fly mm. <laughs> Why are you grabbing the man's shirt? Yeah, right. Like you want to be Why are you grabbing the man? <laughs> yeah, like, you should you make mess up his shirt. Right. I'm just saying, like, no, you ain't you ain't like that, bro. I've yeah, done anything you do. The Bible says there's nothing new under the sun. It's yeah, not. But everybody do the same thing, it's just the way you do it ain't the same. It ain't the same. Time I said that in the song too. Like, I, nobody wanna know. It's the time of the season for every activity. He gonna try to tell you to put the song up under this, so he can, so he can just come in when he say that. Nah. <laughs> what you gotta say? Uh, no, the lyric goes, "We could do the same thing, but you ain't me." I think that's how it goes. Uh huh. They wanna hate, but they can't. No, I got I to gotta, I gotta send you it, man. I mean, my ears are still nicking right now. You need to go down there and holler at Schmitty, man. George. Oh, Georgie. Oh, you're in town. Go play football. Football practice used to be my favorite part of the day. Why? I got to do something I love to do. I didn't have to do what the establishment or everybody else go to school. Study, go to study hall, do all that stuff. I didn't have to do that. I got to do the two hours of the day that I got to do something that I love to do. You guys say you love to do it, but then you complain about the work that you have to put in. Because if you love something, what do you do? You take care of it. Say that to you guys again. If you love something or someone, you take care of it. Come on, man. If you want to be a master in something, if you want to go to the NFL, if you want to, to accomplish your dreams, mastery is practice. <clears throat> I want you to understand that. It's not, for a master, it's not practicing to get better. It's just the purpose of practicing. Because it's not result driven, it is the process of it. Come you on, see, man. movement, don't confuse movement and progress as the same thing. Just because you had practice and you're moving around doesn't mean you're making progress. Right. You have to have the technique. The focus, the understanding of what you've been taught, and you are practicing that every day to become a master. Not to necessarily get better at something, but to become a master at something. Have you ever watched a movie more than once and you found something else in that movie that you didn't find the first time? That's what masters do. They perfect their technique in a way that is not about result driven. It's about the actual process and loving that process. That's what gets you to the NFL. That's what makes you a good man a good husband. It is the mastery of the practice. And we ain't done that yet because we're result driven. We came here, we saw the media hype, we seen what this man and the coaches and all these great coaches on the side have done before and we came here thinking we just gonna get results. But you're not trying to master your practice. Every time you hit that field, man, that ball goes in the air, you should be dreaming about making that pick or making that touchdown or making that tackle, those footwork, your leverage, uh, 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 your pad level, the way you hit, the way you're being physical. Because we don't want to win, we want to dominate. The whole world is waiting on y'all to dominate. That's why everybody comes to see you. Because you're doing something they didn't do last year. We don't communicate. We don't take advantage of our opportunities. All these things on this list, we're barely scraping by, and you wonder why you get your ass beat by top ranked teams. It cannot be result driven, fellas. It's got to be that same energy you had when you was a little kid and you watched TV and you, you went on that field in the yard, you took your shoes off and you said, I'm going to beat him today. That same passion you had when you were a little kid, you said, Mama, you ain't going to have to work no more. <laughs> what happened to that? Because there's a lot of bitching and moaning right now. Well, I don't understand this. I can't do that. That ain't got shit to do with you accomplishing your goals. Because life ain't fair. It ain't never supposed to be fair. This is not an opinion type of mindset. You have to master it by practice. Once you practice the way that, uh, uh, like that, then everything else will come easy. But we ain't done that yet. It ain't about what we do on Saturday, man. It's about what we do through the whole fucking week. That's the key. 
Once we understand that and quit looking for results and look at the movement, not the movement, but the progress, then we'll start to dominate. We've got to hold each other accountable and do that, coaches included. Let's see that word, Trevor. One word, I want you to focus on today. Uh, the DCJ. What is that? <laughs> you know, you know. Bro, he's sick, bro. You got problems. He went and found that, too. I did. Because the coffee, they ain't even had a coffee out. They did. He went and found that, bro. Got the DCJ. He went and made them people work extra so he can have his cup of coffee. Hey, man. It's, it's early in the morning, man. You know, trying to start the day out there. You need coffee to start the day out there? It's just the best part of waking up. That's the only reason he wakes up. I thought the best part of waking up was... Hey, John, they want to know about your, uh, your basketball exploits. So you don't remember? It was the SMU when you was there. Yeah. They came to you. It was prime prep. Right? So you know what else they um, they want to know about your basketball. I told them about when you, your last game. Oh, when I stopped playing? Yeah. <laughs> I think it was like going into my junior year. You started quarterback. You started quarterback. Yeah, I was going into my junior year. I, I got a couple offers. I had like a lot of offers. Probably like 10 at the time in football. So then um, what happened was, no, nah, I, think, I think that's the summer. Yeah, yeah, it was the summer when I had all the offers. So you coming on the bench. Yeah, I got all my offers. So then after that, you know, it was in a private school. So it was cool. I was on JV freshman, so I was killing them in that. So then, <laughs> then we had a JV tournament with like DISD though. Yeah. They started, they're like, oh, you Shiloh? I'm like, yeah, I'm Shiloh. After that, I just felt like the court felt smaller, everybody moving faster. That was my last game. <laughs> 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 oh, 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 <laughs> Dad ain't doing this no more. Uh, nah, it's not, I understand. Yeah, I stopped playing after that. Stop playing. Because I'm like, I can't have all these offers in on in football and be mid in basketball. <laughs> <laughs> so it was over with, so I just stopped. So yeah, that's how I stopped playing basketball and baseball and everything. My man. Thank you, Coach. Coach, appreciate you, bro. Absolutely. Keep doing your thing. Respect, Coach. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you don't have to give me this. Appreciate your time, Coach. Yeah. Woo! You came through oh. pretty Tony. Oh, oh, I play him one time. Play him. Play him. When I go to Big 12 Media Day, I'm wearing them. I'm wearing them on Big 12 Media Day. Yeah, yeah. 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 baby. All right, Kim, tell us about your new roles that you're in right now. Oh my goodness, I work for Smack now. I'm like Sam's assistant. It's really fun, very busy all the time. And I help Darius. I gotta do better with that, but I do. Yeah, let me, let me figure out what else I'm gonna say. Um, yeah, we kind of just handle day-to-day -day stuff like with Uncle Dion and just like football stuff. And mm. You know, we have a grand old time. That's a ball. You want my last one? I like the, the big one. You should see. I got another painting for you. You can put in your house. You want to play? I'll be serious. I'm just saying. No, for real. You know, well, no, for real. Me too. Everything has to be perfect. So, George, can you say what's up to the vlog? No. Bro, you got to stop. No, she can't be in the vlog, gang. Oh, why? She got to fight. BTS, me and Sam are setting up something that I won't say yet until it comes out, but we're setting up a scene for We, we shot this yesterday. Couple, mishaps. couple, couple mishaps. Audio on my side. Merch, my side. It's okay, we're good. We're just shooting it up, you know. Put down below in the comments if y'all saw the video where Coach was actually with the real Aflac Duck yesterday. Sam, you got to meet him. Yeah, the Aflac Duck is here today too, taking pictures in front of the Aflac uh, golf cart truck. Is he cool? Like, did you yeah. talk to him? Yeah. What was he talking about? He was just quacking up a storm. Oh, okay, wow. Yeah. Super intelligent. Helping right? close the gap that medical insurance can't cover. Aflac.com. You know what? Aflac, if you want to, I know you're all in touch with us for Coach Prime, but if you want to get in touch with, you know, someone, another type of spokesman, reach out to my people. Reach out to Darius. Yeah, reach out to me, and I'll, and I'll get back to you soon. Two quick things. <laughs> get out. What are you laughing at? Nothing, bro. Garth at Aflac. What's the opposite of come in? <laughs> See what I gotta deal with on a daily basis? I got something that I need you to record, Darius. 
Yes, 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 sir. No, no, straight up. This is serious. You keep the camera okay. going. I need you to record this because this is revolutionary. It's groundbreaking. And I'm happy and I'm proud. Um, I know he is sandwiched today. He don't have on his bands yet. Leave me alone. But he has on his, you know, he's always tatted <laughs> up like, I, I don't know what it is. What is his other life? Didn't he live? Because it's two different Sams. But Sam has been you awarded. Want? You've been awarded. Tell them about your award. Thank you. I got nominated for uh, Sports Business Journal New Voices 30 Under 30. New Voices 30 Under 30. You got more than nominated now, right? Yeah, no, I got it. Tell him. That's I not got nominated. It. I got it. I That's got not it. nominated. You were nominated, but you got it. I got it. Yep. So the award ceremony is next week in Las Vegas. They're not done there. They're, they're right there. Next week in Las Vegas, so I got to take a couple of days off next week, but that's during well, the bye Just take two days off and just fire yourself. Right, okay, yeah. but what are you wearing? This is why I got the award. This is what I got. What are you wearing? I'm wearing the black suit that you got me. It's okay. going to be the black suit, the one that says Malone. Yeah, if you're nasty. If you're nasty on the mm. inside, I'm going to uh, probably rock the... Cropped. Maybe some... Uh, yeah, they're slightly up. I got to show the ankles. I still got to yeah, be yeah, me. Yeah, he does. Maybe whip out some Gucci shoes. Yeah, you got some Gucci shoes. I like the Gucci. We were talking about got. shirts yesterday. I can't go all black. No, so you got to go, go black white. with white. You got to go white. Tie or no tie? Um, I would do the tie. <laughs> tie? I would do the tie. You, you know, think, I have. You think I you could blast me with a prime tie? I have a line of ties. Yeah. No, I noticed. I know you have a whole bunch. I was waiting for you to be like, hey, you know, do you want a tie to go with that nice suit you got yeah. me? But you know, we endorse everything, right? Let me see. It's funny because in the yeah, when they see. said, hey, you got accepted, they said, you know what, we see what yeah, you have to see. put up with on a daily basis. So They did not say that. <laughs> let me see. You know, what, what do you need, Sam? These ties are really yeah, Hey, I'm talking to Mr. GQ right here. Um, you know, we, we do have ties. You're going to wear a white shirt. You know, these are not your size, but these are for some of the But anyway, uh, we got you, though. I think you let me let me pick your tie in the pocket square. You can't have a tie without a pocket square. Appreciate you. Okay. I don't care what Pretty Tony just walked in and said about you. I don't care what he said either. I don't care what they said about you. And speaking of that, I just got one more thing on the list. No, nope, no, nope, man. There you go. You go now. Nate knows the prize. You know who you can come. Why are you. Put some shoes on, bro. This is an office space. Yeah, coach's office. I can't have shoes. <laughs> I guess you've never true. been in there, buddy. Come That's on. True. Let's go. Good haircut. Thanks, I man. like it. Appreciate it. You look like a MacGyver now. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> so where's Snow? Sick. He's Why got, is he sick? He, he's got like a sore throat and a bunch of different stuff. Fever <laughs> for like three straight days. Who's this? Salson. Oh, jeez. So I was like, just don't even come into work. Real TJ stuff. Real TJ stuff. You need a hat? <laughs> nice. no, I'm not gonna give you a hat. No. TJ, can we see your hairline behind, under that beanie? <laughs> no. Why? It's personal business. How's school going? Talk to the people. It's great. What's about your YouTube channel? What's up with it? How can we subscribe to it? It's right here. All right, I'll put it on the screen. Exactly. Okay. We have the beautiful Miss Constance in the building, as well as TJ munching as usual. As I'm wiping my face. Do I and my teeth? <laughs> no, you don't. Did you just do that to show everything that you have on? No, no, I was no, just making, no, I just okay. had some sandwich. Don't be sandwich. No, it's TJ's sandwich. TJ stole my sandwich? <laughs> Sam, please don't. Save him for me. I would like to thank you for um, putting out there about the 5430 organization. It's very important it is. to help all of our student athletes. For on and off the field, health and wellness. Mm -hmm. And it's very important for us to be able to compete at the elite level. So please, everybody, donate whatever you can. Please. Please. If you donate, you get to see her more in the vlogs, and I know y'all want that. So, there you, you know, go. it's, it's a, it's a dual threat. They probably don't. Uh, no, they definitely do. I Everyone says, remember that one guy in the crowd last time when they were yelling Sam's name? And they were yelling you? Oh, I like, that one. Constance. But I am going to do the. Yeah. You're going to do the Shador? Did you see some youth kids did it? Yeah, I did. I've seen That's all the adorable. pictures. That's adorable. And, and the bears. Then I heard some NBA guys. Now I'm just trying to get him a watch deal. Sam was asking, could you get him a Rolex so he could do the Shador? He's got a Rolex. Sam, stop <laughs> not wearing it because you do. do have one. He wears it on Canada. Yeah, he does. He's back in California. Sam's getting a haircut by Shin. Did you book it? No, yeah, I gotta hit her up. He's, oh, going, he's going fully he's bald. In New York. 
Yeah. He's going fully bald. Like Star will do it. Okay. You you got to do it. Right. Okay. It's the little things. Because Sam's a... What is it, Sam? New Voices. Good. New Voices. Did you see that? He's huh? 30 under 30. No, he's... Yeah, and he won. He wasn't just nominated. I love it. How's that sandwich? Are you going Are you going to Vegas to see Sam? Of course Except I'm it? going to Vegas. I'm his plus one. Okay, oh. that man. Are you going to come to Vegas, DJ? I don't know. That's not my favorite place. Because he lives there, so... Wait, you've been? Really. Yeah, he lost Who a lot of money there. there. Yeah, TJ's so a girl, I don't man. really like it. So I don't live in Vegas. Yes, you do. <laughs> he does? Right, TJ. Right. You're good. When did you move to Vegas? Yeah, recruiting wise. I'm going to throw this out in the kitchen because of the mice problem. Right, I don't want you guys to <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Oh. Oh. That up. Do me running? Oh, yeah. Are you? I don't think so. I didn't have a stick in the field.